biological parents. You know what's the you know what's the sobering truth about relationships? Yo, know, look at this. Everything is words. When you break down words, reality makes more sense. The matrix gets easier. What is dating, Chad? Go. Define it in your terms. No wrong answers. Dating equals sex. That's the truth. This, I didn't understand when I was a kid, 20, never. I always thought this is a stupid take. This is all this word means. This is this is all this word means. And this is really what divides it from... So if if this is all the word the, the word means, but we choose to blur it, right? Then it means mate, right? If this is all it means, then this is a lot more important than we thought. Not to get a lot of it, but from that one person you like, that this you have to always have in the equation. And I'm the kind of guy that lowers my libido when I get used to someone and I kind of get, you know, I'm slower to the to the sack or whatever, whatever you call it. So I'm pro I'm like those stingy housewives that people talk about. So I, I sympathize with that when, when people say that, right? When chat says that. But it's so interesting to me how this word I always thought was meaningless my whole life. I always thought it was just a nut. And then I found out this word is the only thing that bridges you two together. Everything else doesn't matter. And I'm like, what about the dinner? Nope. If this is not there, it doesn't matter. Well, what about golfing together? Nope. If this is there, then this is what you're doing. If it's not there, then this is what you're doing. Well, what about you guys collabing together? If this isn't there, then this is what you guys are doing. Right? And it's so interesting how as obsessed as society is with this, they do this one. In quantity, which anyone can tell you, this word means quality. Quantity is not the answer. You know, the only reason I went to quantity is to learn to find quality chicks, like to EXP up. But if I could have EXP without going through the quantity, I would never hook up with fucking randoms, right? I would have never done this part. But my crush needed it, right? My crush needed it. I don't know why. Biologically, I don't blame her because it's in her DNA. But um, to get this crush right here, right? To get this crush, I needed to go for a quantity, and then I tied th these guys up. Right? Isn't that so strange? But to me, the most interesting part is this word has it matters so much. We talk about it every day of our lives. This uh, this word that we obsess over, that's everywhere, that's sold to us. But really, when we do it, we don't consider it a job. And so if you're in a long term, what's that called? Then you are committing to a part-time job of this. And I never understood that until I was like, I'm going to try my best to make her happy to see if I have the ability. Not just regular happy. And then I was like, oh my God. It's actually a job. Like you have to clock in. You have to, and you have to like always be fresh, always be ready. And it, it turns, and you know, we as guys don't even want to be fresh. If we're sweating, we don't want to take a fourth shower that day, right? So it's so interesting to me that like um, people will try and sell me long terms, and I'll say, my job is Twitch. How could I do a part time job of this? This will actually consume me, right? Or I could go half-ass this. If I go half-ass the S word, 
Then I can do Twitch and get my rocks off. But then I'm snaking her. So, and a lot of guys do that. Like the Chad types, they're like, mine, 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 mine. Right? And it's very weird. <clears throat> you gotta you gotta watch you gotta watch out yeah you gotta watch out for buzzwords chat look here are buzzwords you'll hear from dumb liberals okay and you won't hear them from uh, educated lefties, you won't hear the, some budget words. Hang out. Are we hanging? Did y'all hang? These words are how cowards ask their friend groups in WhatsApp if they banged. Right? These are cowardly words, right? You'll never hear me ask these in a podcast. I'm not BC, right? These cowardly buzzwords, these are the ones you got to watch out for. Once you start counting, and I dare you to start counting how many times your friends say this, you'll start noticing that it's so frequent someone asks, hey, did you guys, did you guys hang? As in, did you guys do this? Right? And you start seeing how obsessed people are, even when they're bored and not interested. They're obsessed with knowing or the potential. If I talk to someone on call, so guys, their potential to this, why is chat so obsessed with me getting my nut off? Because the more you watch someone else nut, right? The more you try and draw connections to, hey, maybe I can do that too. Zirka said something funny here and he timed it right there and the punchline hit here. That was really good. She enjoyed that. Maybe comedy is better than Gucci. Right? People, a lot of people hate me, watch me for, it's called game. But really what game is, is the C word that no one will say. Charm. Right? And charm just means to charge. Right? It has a different definition in the school of Zircology. Charm is to charge, right? And your job is to be the catalyst for this, not the initiator. Believe it or not, not the initiator. You want enthusiasm. You want enthusiasm from your partner. They will initiate. Once they're initiating, your life becomes so much easier. But a lot of guys will do this. Here, look at this. Look how pathetic this is. This guy will initiate 90% of interactions. If I'm, I've never been this guy in my life because I found it cringe. If, th if it does not feel damn near 50-50, which is impossible because the guy is going to want it more. But if it's not feeling like this, and usually people feel this in the honeymoon stage, then guess what? Y'all will fail. Right? If she don't initiate, she's not yours. Does this make sense? <clears throat> and a lot of people are like, that doesn't work. She don't initiate. She don't... You don't go to the fucking park with your girl and not charge her. I'm not saying be a creep at the park, okay? Right? There's there's people watching, right? But everything will come down to the P word, play, right? This is all girls feel when they enter my podcast. That's why they're so freaking charged compared to other podcasts. This word is so underrated this word can get you so much box if you want to word it like that but a lot of people including has don't believe in it which really really is bad this word 
gets you probably 70% more. And no one will ever know. Because this word doesn't mean long term. This means play with me, play with me, play with me. This is way more convincing than stay with me long term. I am an alpha, right? You master this, you get a lot of quantity, and then you go back to long term. <clears throat> Was it the Marxist? What do he say? Yeah, thank you, Mods. Uh, but yeah, so I guess just be careful. Be careful you don't become like the best version of yourself that can't, right? Like a lot of people are like, what's the difference from you and Haz when you guys run game? And I would say it's this, right? Haz is kind of uh, doesn't enter his youthful side, which, you know, uh, I have weeks, months sometimes where I do that. But usually... I have to run a podcast, get a lot of guests, and it involves this energy, right? Oh my God, Anavar, you look so cute today. Oh, thank you, John. This will get you subscriptions, right? This is the highest level sharing gun in the game, right? But how's it still in a strength phase, which is good, but what strength phase does is, here's the problem. If you go hyper-masculine, if you're in your strength mode, let's call it that. Here's what you're all you're signaling. You're a tower. This you become this giant cock of a tower, right? And here's the biggest problem with has uh, not a problem, but to me it's a problem because I don't waste. I don't like to waste time, right? But look at this. He's a tower right now, Craig. What is Haz signaling with strength to women? All he is signaling is, look at this, poop, 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 right? The tower of strength, and they like it. They smile at it, right? The chicks love it. Here they are. They go, oh, my God, I haven't seen a tower before. I usually just see cucks everywhere. See the cucks? The seas, right? The problem with this is... Chat, what is he signaling, right? And I studied, I have people watch for so long that it's so interesting to me how obvious this, this is. What is he signaling? All he is signaling to someone like, let's say, what was that girl's name? Ink Bites. Duh. What is has signaling to Ink Bites, right? He is signaling that Wanky is based as fuck, bro long term right it's just long term energy right good job winky so now why am i critiquing this signal chat why 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 am i critiquing this signal because i'll let, I'll let you guys have it first actually why is this super bad Right? This is super good, I mean. It's super good to be known as a tower. But why is it bad to always be this mode? No girl will risk leaving her current for a tower. Right? It's a hell of a risk for the girl and that means no playtime now if he went if he went he if he came in as a tower and they said oh my god masculine and then switched up and went playful vague he can infiltrate he can infiltrate the dms soup he would be so much more kgb and effective right however He's just signaling um, masculine, right? When really, you want to enter their short-term thought, right? When you enter their short-term thought, it's this, right? And they have this with friends too. They have guy friends that they're playful with, but they don't hook up. This 
is all you need to connect, right? As soon as you connect this, as soon as you have it, right? You do it again and again and again, then you bring the fucking tower. And then she goes, oh, fuck, he switched it on me. And then she got to make a choice, all right? Then you go full masculine and flip the whole script and go, nah, honeymoon phase is over. Uh, I'm not sharing, all right? And I think this is more effective because... Um, Here's the truth. Women play a thousand times more games than when it comes when it comes to dating than stupid men who are direct by accident a lot of guys leak their intentions right which you know i'm very direct but look at me you know and remember the name of the game is the name of the game is you are not god as soon as a girl feels this energy come from you, 100% respect shoots up. Remember, they only date at equal level or above. Never McDonald's. Right? So what do mods give them? Mods? <laughs> mods will do this. Mods will literally call them God every day of their life, right? That's why the badass says, no, you're not God. Who the fuck do you think you are? And she laughs. She goes, I guess you caught me. Because they're running deception by accident. It's not their fault. They know not of their sins. They know not of their sins. That's why we forgive them, right? If you grew up with MTV, I, if you grew up with MTV and you turned into a liar and a succubus, it's not your fault. It's MTV's fault. I'm not going to blame her at all. Matter of fact, if I had a daughter, she'd probably be one too, right? So it's really interesting how um, a lot of times it's just like a bench press dating is just like a bench press you can never give tips on the internet about bench press because biomechanically everyone's different zirka has to go play because he looks scary right a playful dude has to go serious to look serious and you know a little scary so 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 he meets you i would never do what zirka does if zirka was like five two if i was five two and i was like Hey, baby girl, do you want to get some cotton candy with me? And she goes, hee hee, John, you're 5'2". You can't even afford cotton candy because no one will offer your short ass a job, right? You cannot go hyper fucking playful if you look like a fucking hyper playful pussy, right? It's a different, there are different rules for everyone, right? That's why when I see a dude I'm, and I do an analysis, I go, oh, I could tweak this guy, right? I could tweak this guy. You know, I think one dude at the club, I said, you know, if you just let silence happen when you talk to them and stop filling in dead air, her attraction with, for you will go up. But these guys will be like this. <gasps> she hasn't said anything. So what, what about the Avengers? Did you like that one too? Because I know you like Marvel, right? No, this is what you say. You intentionally slow down your words, not on the date. You do it with your coworkers. You just get into the practice of slowing down who you are. You know, I go a thousand miles per hour. It's creepy. It's bad. It's very bad. You know, I get away with murder because I'm high level, you know. But here's what you do. You go, oh, did you like the Avengers movie? And then it goes quiet and she's thinking of an answer because she's nervous. And you let them suffer. You let them suffer and look somewhere else look here look there lean back don't be up in their grill 
a fucking week, man, is always filling in dead air. And that's why you're getting exhausted on dates, right? There's two types of men at the movie theater. The anxious guy that can't wait to get the date over with. And the guy who leans back in his fucking chair, right? You're supposed to enjoy the date too. Stop being nervous, right? The, you know, not, most men don't even know what's happening in the movie because they're thinking of the date so much. And a lot of girls just watch the movie. They just enjoy the fucking movie. I'm like, what the fuck? How come she gets to enjoy the movie? I can't. This is so fucking unfair. I have to think about, oh, what am I going to do after? Do I lean in? Do I? I lean back and the credits roll. And she's like, John, we've been here and the credits have gone. Are we leaving? I go, I'm not ready. And all of her anxiety stops. Right? I will I will sit in the theater for two hours if I have to get the janitor. I want a conversation, bro. I will I will literally decelerate them for two hours after the theater is done. Because if you are speeding me up because you're nervous, the whole show can stop until you're ready. When they decelerate, then they start kissing and stuff like that. Right? But it's like all women do on in dates is their anxiety is spiked through the roof and they project it on you. Oh my god, did you did you lose your wallet? Oh my god, did you did you wear those shoes to look taller? Oh my god, did you buy that shirt to look wider? Oh my god. And it's like the whole time and then you find out she wants a boob job and shit and you're like, "Oh god, that's why you're focusing on the stripe on my shirt." Like, what the fuck? And like they just project so much insecurity into you and shit test you a million times and you're like, "Dude, you know, and sometimes I straight up check people. Hey, 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 hey. I'm hey, I'm not I'm not no fucking peewee. Don't shit test me. I don't want your shit test. Now don't ask me how many girls I've been with. I don't do that. Enjoy the fucking movie. And they'll be like this. <laughs> really now, John? I can't ask you a question? No, I'm not like the other dudes that are going to, Oh, uh, yeah, I've been with this many. You know? I've even said, like, John, how many girls you been with? Who are you to know? Who? Well, you're taking me on a date, so I guess I'm somebody. No, I've just put in your mind that you're a somebody if you date me. I am Leonardo DiCaprio. Welcome to Inception.